Good morning. I'm Derek, and I have started a new squad of tactical marines. And unlike the uh, the last squad, which had a uh, gray and a red base, I'm I'm going more with uh, I, w I wanted to play with orange. And uh, while camping over the summer. I came across just the most beautiful sand, this black basalt sand underneath a uh, basalt cliff, and it's uh, it's magnetic. Pull out the uh, the magnet that I have in there, which is helping me separate out the non-black sand from all the other sand but the sand is so fine that it's just uh, glittery black sand is just now a part of my life it's something that I just have to do everything has black glittery sand on it and I wanted to start with um, a base for this guy here this, uh, a nice old model and I was going to give them the old, uh, what, 20 something millimeter style base. So I got some Sculpey clay. The idea of this here is help me keep the camera in focus a bit. And uh, I, my test guy here, which I. I'm very happy with how his, how his base actually has turned out with the black sand. So I keep a neat rock that I found. There we go. For when I'm when I'm making these bases, and I have a magnet on it so that I can use it to paint some guys on it if I need to. Captain, uh, no, no, uh, a sergeant, veteran sergeant maybe. So, making a little Beaky's base a bit larger. Ah, here we go. Than I normally would. Just, just a little bit larger because he's such a tiny and dinky model so what I am now gonna do I'm just gonna press the rock into my base and I've got got all these neat shapes on it so that's a really neat shape and just just pressing it in there and it just gives uh, some really nice rock forms i i got the idea from artist john frazier that i that i got the, the privilege to talk to for a little bit online and um, yeah so just I keep a rock and use it to make other rocks and just press him in and he's pretty good it's not too bad he's got the divot I don't know if we can see the uh, the slot of base, but I'm just gonna carve in some erosion lines there. You know, I'll be fine, probably. So then he goes into the oven, 15 mil minutes, uh, per half, uh, <clears throat> per radius centimeter. So we're, he's going to want to be in there for like a good half an hour, 45 minutes baking. And I have finally primed one of my Saturnine Terminators that I've been wanting to work on for quite a while. See if we can get our focus machine focus on. Yeah. 
Let's see. Bases. Ah. I want it to smash. A pauldron. But I misplaced the pauldron that I was going to smash. But it was a 3D printed one. And... I'm not going to find it now. So, apologies. I'm looking for garbage. Well. I just wanted to take a pauldron. And that's not going to work. These 3D uh, printed resin bits are stronger than I thought. All right. And of course, a bit flew off into infinity just there. But I wanted to take just a few bits and um, stick them on here. Just like that. We'll paint them up. That. That that went that went better in my head when I when I envisioned that that process. So new squad, and we are going with the same color scheme as the, uh, the previous guys, with the uh, very 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 dark green and the brilliant uh, white pauldrons with the uh, the red trim so and like a baking show I uh, went ahead and half primed one or been working on one just blocking out its colors and like the captain that I was working on quite a while ago I wanted him to be half in very, very, very dark green and half in black. Let's see if I can uh, get those colors to show up on this guy here at all. Hot paint. Maybe. And I got some uh, very dark green from Blick, and I am just giving him a few more layers of the dark green. Then I will touch up the other side with the black. Then he'll get uh, some dry brushing of all sorts. And music still from the um, Dark Successor video game, which I, I, haven't, I still haven't worked on enough. Giving him the old style, almost chaos backpack. Uh, a lot of my guys, the Mala, or, um, Dark Angel successors. And so a lot of their gear is... The same stuff that the Traitor Legions were wearing. You know, they're, they're definitely not Traitor Legion, most likely. But I, I would like to use them uh, both as Dark Angels and as Fallen. So I keep that in mind. And just another layer. you got to remember that, that he's got a skull there. And I'm using, I'm using a mix mat, mix, a mishmash of GW parts and bits I printed myself on most of these guys. I'm working on a um, J 
genuine parts only squad of uh, crimson fists that that would like to use you know in uh, non-friendly games I'd like to do any games so I'm gonna do a call out soon because the uh, the local shy painted that side green and I didn't mean to and I think I was totally off camera most of the time as well Three skulls. Uh, the middle one's painted in the in the company colors of uh, crap. I think it's the pretty sure it's third company. And I just just smashed green all over the pauldron. But I, I painted the pauldron separately. Went ahead on this guy, and he's going to go with the whole green treatment. So I should get a better brush for putting on massive amounts of uh, dry brushing. And oh, I always feel better when I finally get to put on I have to remember to Dry brushes, other pauldron gray. Really, just get just getting that first layer of, of really, 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 really dark green. I put their I'm going to put their company badge, the uh, the red stripe on the green background, on all of these guys' knee pads. Starting to get a nice little, you can kind of tell that he's got some green. Uh, you can kind of tell that I also missed that whole section right there on the primer. And I've I, uh, been painting these guys for a couple of days. Uh, just sergeants, really. I'm doing them in batches of three, which uh, is just, just comfortable. And I'm going to start painting on that uh, Saturnine. And it's traditional for Dark Angels, I guess, to go all white. So I'm, I'm excited and nervous to. Uh, do some white. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna go with, start with gray, and then it'll look like just everybody normally does. So not too bad. We'll even out some of those spots that we missed. We'll probably actually shave off the paint, uh, so it'll, it'll glue nicely. I don't know if you can tell, but uh, his uh, his base has a failed uh, Jean Steeler print. I'm going to go ahead and give his base a smattering of the this awesome orange I got. I don't know why, I've just been thinking about orange a lot lately. Let's see if we can come in here a bit. Oops. My brush is too wet. I just cleaned it. Get a different brush. And just a base, so we don't we don't mind too much that we're getting some paint all over our legs. We're gonna, we're gonna put orange dust on his legs anyway at some point. So Most basic any of that chain stealer is gonna be fun. And we just lost a bolter, which is okay. Because I, I lightly glue everything. 
so I can change it around later. You know, I can pop it off and get those, get underneath it where the paintbrush couldn't get before. And I saw a guy on Facebook who's blending his, his legs, the bottom of his legs, just right into the terrain colors. Like, wow, that's, that's really neat. I, I gotta have that too. Uh, I think he just cements the figure nicely into the model or landscape ground. Got my great. We're learning, we're, we're still learning. Every day is a learning process. So much has changed in the last few months. It's been, it's been weird, it's been freaky. <laughs> I'm back at uh, one of my favorite jobs ever at the uh, football field. It's awesome and I, I love it and just makes me excited. And we're, there's my square rock. Get some dudes horizontally over there. And it's like a knocked off his pauldron too, which I wanted to paint white separately anyway, so that's fine. And simply, there is just sand everywhere. There was, I did not know it was gonna be magnetic, and there was a, there was a reaction. Could have cleaned up his mode lines a little bit better. But this was, um, boy, this is one of my first uh, online purchases, this guy. I discovered eBay rather late. And, and oh my God, there was this Saturnine old mini, an old mini from the 80s. And it's like, oh boy. And uh, you know, I wasn't prepared for eBay. Like this model started out as a, on an auction, as you can imagine, and uh, I didn't get it. And I probably shouldn't have uh, gone online and expressed my excitement for even seeing this model. <laughs> I would say that was rather noobish. So, of course, it skyrocketed into the hundreds, I, or even, I don't know, I, I, I stopped at 90. Uh, not, not bidding, I stopped even looking at it. Because I, uh, I saw that there were these five beautiful resin knockoffs from Ukraine. And I thought, you know what, you know, if, if it goes, if this original Saturnine Terminator, the original model from the 80s, goes above 45, I'm going to buy this resin kit. And then it took took almost two months for the resin kit to arrive overseas and I didn't really like the arms so I ordered uh, some GW parts for the uh, for his arms and I had some other bits lying around that I thought would look good if I just stuck them on there My God, where did that go? And bone white, bone white. Hopefully, well, not bone white. Um, we're working on it. We, we're not really sure, and I'm not sure if he should get the gray and red base, orange, or and I'm experimenting with with some different colors. So that's fun. Um, I would just get sick and tired of painting the same color bases all the time. And I'm after a company. It's 
what I would like, just, just for myself, uh, keeping me sane during COVID. But it's nice to see that things are opening up. The local game shop is starting to have games again. The last time I went into a games workshop store, the, the guy working there said November. Probably have games again in November. So I'm hoping to have something to show up with in November, even if it's just, you know, a few guys from my Crimson Fists, or it'd be nice if I could do some games with my strange Dark Angels. But, you know, I know some people get weirded out by my my strange, not, not totally normal army. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm very happy with him. I hope I stayed in focus and in, in camera the whole time. Looks like we're still on. Got the video game running. I'm, I'm not giving up on it. Um, and nor am I gonna, uh, I'm not gonna change it up so that it's, it's not about the Dark Crusaders. It's still about the Dark Crusaders. It's a fan game. I'm gonna see what, what I can do. I haven't been sharing it, so much lately. Uh, yeah. <laughs> working on it. It's a work in progress. Everything's a work in progress. I'm, I'm doing I'm doing well, I think. And um, let's see, did we accomplish everything I wanted? Let's see, what do we got? Uh, new tactical squad, 3D printing, smash the pauldred, started on the terminators. And I, yeah, I think the I think the Terminator is uh, he's looking pretty good. He doesn't have a name yet, and working on our captain still. So thank you for your patience and uh, thank you for watching. And I, I I will talk at again later. Thank you very much.